we're gonna get this old spindle bearing out. I just uh, got the first one out. I didn't have, I don't have any weird, um, whatever, you know, like a press or uh, like for removing axle bearings. I don't have any tools. Oh, geez, this thing is disgusting. It's in there though. It's supposed to look like that kind of with some grease on it, but this one just looks like a baked cake. <laughs> but, uh, so my tool for getting this out, I had this long punch and you can tell it's been hit for a long time. So what I did was I flattened, you know, that edge and I kind of necked it down there. So that way when it goes in, it'll kind of go in like that, like at an angle and it'll just catch the shoulder of this bearing. And with it being flat like that, it didn't allow it to slip off like before. And I was able to get it out pretty easily. So let me get this lined up and uh we'll give it a go see if we can be two for two so like i said we're gonna get this one out i just wiped the grease out of it you can see that once that little space there you got to get this punch in there it's like quarter inch gap there but uh let me show you here Put this in there i think you can see that see it just catches so that's how we're gonna do it. And you gotta kinda like hold it this way, put pressure this way, and then hammer at the same time. So let's just give it a whack real quick. It's right there. There we go. Cool. This one's out. It's been in there for who knows how long. Like that in there. Like that. Alright, so we got the spindle bearing out, so now we're gonna put the new one in. And uh, so there it is. Gotta get in there. See how it's like all it's kinda it can be hard to get that started, but I'll show you what I do. It works pretty well. I'll try and set this up so you can see. So first thing, we're going to take a little, you could actually see that little ring. That's where the bearings got to go into, and that's where it'll stop. It's a little ridge, but I usually take a little film of grease. I mean, there's already grease in here, so we'll just kind of borrow it. That'll help move things along. So we'll get that in there, like that. I don't have any special tools to do this with. You can do this any, <laughs> I don't know, use whatever you got. In my case, first thing I'm gonna start with, be a block of wood. I got this little piece of quarter inch plate. It's pretty uh, flat for the most part. So probably shake the crap out of the camera, but that's okay. You get the gist of it. Take my big hammer. We're gonna do this, and yeah, you know, see it's a little bit of a gap. So as soon as it's flush, I know it thing's straight. So just like that. So it's in there. It started straight. So now you could, in my case, when I get so far in there, I'm using this socket. I mean, what size it is, it's a uh, 30 millimeter seems to be perfect size for this because it's going to push the bearing in and I've already tested it. It actually slides into the spindle itself, so it's a good size, but this is sticking out way too far for my comfort. So this is what I do. I got these washers by an eighth inch thick. We'll start with that one first. Hit it down again until it's flush. It's good whack there. It's going in there straight. Get another one. I only have two, so <laughs> this is where I'm gonna make it, you know, count. Give it a whack. And the 
see it's pretty far in there now. And then, from there, this is in there close enough to where I'll start to use the salt. So I give this a whack. It's almost flush. Seems like once it's in there, it kind of, it goes a lot easier. So now it's flush. I'm not even hitting it that hard now. Now, now it'll sit there. It's right there's good. Check. Mm, just about there. We've got probably like a little less than an eighth. So one more whack there. There, you heard it bottom out. That's it. So, that's your spindle bearing installed using socket. These are larger washers for half inch bolts. I just had them laying around, they're extra. And, you know, either more washers or a thick piece of plate like this. I prefer to plate because it's. You know, stay straight, keep things square going in. And a good two and a half pound sledge. That'll do the trick. All right, so the other part of this, like the reason you want to get down in here to that edge is so you leave room for the seal, which goes on the axle shaft, and it'll sit when it's all installed It'll be in there like that. That way it helps keep, you know, debris and whatnot out of the bearing. But if you look, you can see this has that uh, beveled edge, it flares out. So that's what goes on this bevel and, you know, meets that edge and seals it up. So when you put it onto the axle shaft, let's see, this is gonna be sharp, but just show you real quick so when you put it on the axle shaft you want to put it so the i guess i want to say the groove the flared edge is toward you know the stub here not the stub the flange this here and then that'll go on there and that way when you push it in this will all sit you know in that recessed area on the spindle and it'll seal it all up so, I guess we can do that real quick, actually. So why don't we? We're gonna install the seal real fast. The seal is about the same way, except for you wanna go with the flared edge out this way, because it's gonna go on here like this. So when it's all said and done with, it's gonna be sitting in there like that. So, let's, uh, Get a little bit of grease on it. Okay, so put this on. Just like that. So you see how that's on there now? Once you grease it up, it just slide it on there. And then we'll take this, like I said, the groove or flared edge that's going to be spun around like that so it's going on like this oh, almost forgot one thing one thing i gotta get this one they're either plastic or they could even be bronze so this one's already got some grease on it so i'm just gonna slide it on it has a beveled edge on one side on the inside diameter and you want that to go toward the U-joint because the shoulder here, it's got a radius, so it has clearance for that. So once again, groove side, flared, you know, that portion's going there. And that's that. This axle shaft can now go back in the housing. And then from there, you know, when we get the spindle bearing, this thing will go into the caliper mounting bracket and it'll essentially do something like this. Go in there like that. And I'll grab the camera, I'll spin this around for you so you can see it. 
So that's kind of what it looks like. Let's see if I can pull that. Yeah, see? So that's how it'll be, but yeah, it'll be a lot tighter fit once it's all bolted together and it seals up, keeps all the debris up. So that's that.